Hey guys, so I am going to do a review on this Aveeno Tinted Moisturizer. There we go. Because I would like to give you guys an idea of how I feel about this product and um, how it works and how I apply it every day. So I have purchased this at Walmart for $12 to $13 ish somewhere around there yeah it is a kind of pricey but Aveeno, I find that Aveeno products are pricey only because I believe they truly work for your skin because they're like I don't know how to explain like healthy not healthy but um their products are like more real I don't know um I can't come up with the word right now if I find out what the word I'm trying to say is I'll leave it in the down bar so you guys can get an idea of what I'm talking about because right now I just sound like a loop anyways this is the Aveeno positively radiant tinted moisturizer SPF 30 Ooh, sounds lovely um UVA slash UVB sunscreen even tones and texture contains natural light reflecting minerals active natural total soy complex 2.5 fluid ounce 75 milliliters and it says that this is oil free. I don't know if that's true yet. Um, let me see. Um, it says after cleansing smooth evenly over face and neck daily and before sun exposure, reapply as needed. If you're a child under the age of six months, please ask the doctor before using. I don't know why a child would be using this, but okay, that's their opinion. I will be right back. Okay, oh, ooh, I'm back. So getting to this, um, how I feel about this, if I would have to rate it from a 0 to a 10, I would rate this um, a 9. I love this product. The only downside is um, after a couple hours, I start to get shiny. And I don't like to be shiny because then it looks gross. Okay, so I am going to show you how I put this on. So I get the bottle and I pump it to my hand. Like one, two pumps. And the color I got was medium, sheer tint. Um, I tend to go to, uh, I tend to use darker moisturizers because I like to cover up whatever blemishes I have. I have a lot of blemishes. My skin is like, I don't know if you can tell, but I get red right here and I get red under my nose. And I blame that on my mom because she has it too and it's like so gross. Okay. Anyways, I get my e.l.f. brush. It's just a basic $3 brush. You can use any brush you want, but that's my e.l.f. powder blush. And then I just dab it like this. And then I put it on my face, especially around my nose, because that's where it's more red. And then I spread it around. My forehead itches. And then I spread it around. I normally have a clip on my bangs, but my hair is already up, so. And under the eyes, because I have dark circles under my eyes. It's so weird looking. I sleep at night, so I don't know why I get all these dark spots. And that's what I do. And when I'm done, ooh, my hair. Oh, yeah. That's what it looks like when I'm done. I don't know if you can see. Mm. It's like, if it's not sticky, that's a good thing. It's not sticky, it has a light scent. It's not strong. Um, I think it blends very well. It's really smooth. Um, let me see. Does it, it, does it have a good coverage? Um, 90%. Um, like I said, the only downsides I don't like about this product is it will leave you oily. I already have oily skin. When I first put it on, it really feels really nice, but it will leave my skin oily like a, after a couple hours. So then I like to top it off with my Revlon Photo Ready Powder, and this is, uh, I don't know what color this is. Well, it's medium shade too, so this is what it looks like. And I like to use... This, I don't know what brush this is. It has no name, but I like to just dab it in there and I apply this on the top of it. That helps it from getting as much as, like, it helps it 
get less oily or whatever. I hear other beauty gurus like explain things on here like so like professional. And then when I'm explaining stuff, it does not come out the way I want it to sound. So excuse me for my broken words and my broken vocabulary. So that's what I like to do. I just like to top it off with some powder. You can use any powder. And that's what it looks like when it's done. I don't know if you guys can tell a difference, but mm, I can. It looks really nice. So yeah, that is the Aveeno Positively Radiant. Um, you guys can try this out because I really highly recommend this. If you like moisturizing tint, uh, if you like tinted moisturizers, I would purchase this. Um, this is amazing. Um, the only other tinted moisturizer I had was the Origins organs origins tinted moisturizer and that one is really nice but i can't afford that one so i wanted to try vino because their products are really good so yeah um this was on this if you guys have any comments leave them in the down bar and yeah so that was my video so thanks for watching my fellow youtubers and um stay tuned for more videos bye